Today we're going to talk about lap joints. So we're going to be talking about uh, material prep just a little bit and then we're going to be welding it out, a bunch of arc shots. So what I've got is just a basic lap joint setup. You can see it's just two pieces of plate and this is uh, 0.160 of an inch and that's about 5 64ths of an inch and this is 5052 material. So you can see it's just butted up against each other. There's no bevel or anything and anything over 8th inch I normally will go ahead like this and bevel that edge at about like 45 until it's about half the thickness. And this just helps because when you're welding your normal lap joint, if you don't add enough filler to crown up over, crown up over this edge, it'll leave like a sharp edge along the whole thing. So if you bevel it, as long as you flow up over this, it'll flow and um, crown up and smooth out so that you don't get that hard edge on there. So. I'll show you these two. I'll show you pushing enough in to fill up this and then I'll show you what it normally looks like if you don't and uh, yeah. So when you're doing a fillet weld you're normally about 50-50 in there you know at a 45 degree angle but on a lap joint you're gonna be about that probably like 30 degrees 25 something like that to where it's pointing down and then flowing it down into here and that that works really good for lap joints So I didn't record this one. This one was me just adding about twice as much filler as I did on both of these. So if you want it to flow over and be smooth with no ridge on it, you can either bevel it or add extra filler. So right here I added extra filler and that's what that one looks like. And then right here there's that little bit of a ridge and I just didn't add enough filler for that. So if you bevel it, you can get away with adding less filler. It's a little quicker that way. Forgot to mention I ran 8th inch 5356 for all of these. Um, 
This is the side where I had that beveled edge. So you can see there's no edge right there. This is the one with um, out the beveled edge. And you can't really see it, but there's a little bit of a lip right there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Still can't really see it. But at each of these, there's a little bit of a rib right there. But here's the one where I added more filler until I watched it crown over that top. And here's the one where I pedal bumped it. And I like this one when I'm in awkward positions. Like if I'm on the side of a boat, like can't really stay steady, I'll use this because I can wait until my arm's steady and then pump it and pump it, you know, as I go. Whereas if I'm trying to keep the same pedal uh, pressure on it while I'm going, if I bump or anything, it's gonna be kind of crooked looking. So that's where this comes in handy for me. And a lot of people use this for their go-to technique. And that's perfectly fine. It still wets in. It's usually just a little bit wider because you have to reheat the metal and uh, you know give it a little extra pedal for it to jump in. It's almost like a tack, except you're not letting it cool down in between. It's still a flowing puddle, but you make it to where it flows really small in between. And then you light up and then you let it sit and then you light up. Anyways, that's how you do this one, and it works pretty dang good. So for this, I used a number six gas lens with a 332nd inch lanthanated tungsten, and I it said I was around 20 CFH, but I think it's a little off because normally I run around 10 to 15. Uh, to, but all you got to do, if you use these settings, it'll work, and then just. Uh, Keep turning up your gas until you have a clean puddle. If you're seeing like black in that puddle, that means it's dirty and you need more gas. Or if you're seeing red flaring off the edges a lot, either it means your material wasn't clean or you don't have enough gas flow to go over it. So I have the machine maxed out, but I only used about... When I started, I used the whole thing. And then when I got, you know, the metal heated up, I was probably only about halfway on the pedal. So my frequency is 90 and my uh, cleaning balance is 73. All right, well hopefully that helps you with some of your lap joints. And um, that pedal bumping technique will work on any like fillet weld, butt weld, uh, outside corner, whatever. You can use it, I like to use it when I'm in awkward positions, but a lot of people use it as their main way of welding. It does fine, you need a little more amperage, so if your machine's uh, smaller and you're welding thicker stuff, it's not gonna be able to work very well. Um, but if you have the amperage or you're using a thinner material, that'll work good. Okay, well, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and uh, check out my Instagram at 5th Street Fam, and look at some of my other videos. You guys have a good one.